Tim with Kitchen and Craft. How are you? In today's tutorial, we're gonna discuss something I call Monday sauce. You know, I always intend to make this sauce on Sundays, but we're so busy as a family that I never get to it until Monday night. So I call it my Monday sauce. So clever, huh? The sauce has a ton of uses. It's great with eggplant parm, chicken parm. You can add it to broth-based soups. You can add a little fresh basil and make a sauce for some fresh pasta. You can add it to a braise. It's so good, you can just eat it with a spoon. The key to this sauce is using San Marzano tomatoes, and I'll get to why I use them in the video. Anyways, enough of me rambling. Let's get to the recipe. Start by adding some extra virgin olive oil to a pot over a low flame. Now use the less expensive stuff for cooking. Save your good extra virgin olive oil for cold food preparations. Peel then finely dice some yellow onion. And when that oil's hot enough, go ahead and add them to the pot. While those onions are sweating in the oil, go ahead and peel and mince some garlic. Now, I am heavy handed with garlic, I love it, but if you don't feel the same way, you can always back off a clove or two. And trust me, you won't hurt my feelings. It's not best practice to clean a sharp knife off with your hand, so do as I say and not as I do. Continue to cook your onions and garlic until tender. This should take about five minutes. Now we're gonna add a fat tablespoon of tomato paste. Now this is gonna add some depth of flavor to our sauce. It's an optional ingredient, you don't have to add it. Again, not gonna hurt my feelings. I like my sauce with tomato paste in it. Once it's in the pot, go ahead and cook the tomato paste for a few minutes until it browns slightly. This will help unlock some of its bold flavor. Let's talk tomatoes. I use San Marzano tomatoes. They're sweeter, they're lower in acidity, they have more pulp and less seeds. They are absolutely the best tomato for sauce making. Place your tomatoes in the sauce pot, then give everything a good stir and let the sauce simmer for about 20 minutes. You can stir it occasionally and at some point, season it with some kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper. Now, since I use whole tomatoes in this recipe, we're gonna have to break them up. And the best way that I've found to do this is to use a whisk. And it's a great technique because it allows you to manage the texture of your sauce. After your sauce has simmered for a bit, check the seasoning, make sure it's to your liking, and then place it into a bowl, let it cool to room temperature. Then you can store it in any sort of container in the fridge for about a week. Thanks for watching, subscribe, hit that like button, and check out some of my other videos.